Hi, I'm Dan Emmert. I'm a field agronomist with Pioneer in Southwest Indiana. And today I'm gonna to take a few minutes to talk about sudden death syndrome in soybeans. And every year we preach the importance of planting soybeans early to maximize yield potential. But one of the number one risks of planting early is sudden death syndrome. Sudden death syndrome infects soybean plants early in the growing season when we have cool and wet conditions. Usually, the disease is worse in areas where we have compaction and poorly drained soils. There's a couple things we can do to manage around the risk of sudden death. One is waiting until soils warm up. However, we've seen year after year after year that some of our highest soybean yields come from planting early. So what else can we do? Well, one key is variety selection. And in this field, the customer had a variety with an SDS rating of six in this side of the planter, and a variety with an SDS rating of eight on this side of the planter. And you can see um, there is a difference in the amount of SDS that's showing up. So variety selection is one key. Another is the use of seed treatments that are proven to protect against sudden death syndrome, such as Olivo. One of the first symptoms of SDS that we tend to notice is this pattern on the leaves where the veins remain green and we see yellow and brown in the intervenal areas. And this occurs as a toxin that's produced in the root system is translocated up into the leaves during pod fill. There's a couple other diseases that can also cause similar symptomology, the main one being uh, brown stem rot. So another thing that we can do to distinguish SDS from other diseases is to split the stem and look for uh, the symptomology inside. And so the middle of the stem should be white and usually you will tend to see a little bit of um, brown on the outer edges. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.